Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Planet Base. Before we start, please take a moment to subscribe, comment, like, and let's begin. So, Planet Base is a game like Dwarf Fortress, I guess, is a close uh, example. Uh, or, what was that other one there was? There was that uh, Space Base 9, I believe it was. Um, something in the similar lines of that, but uh, a new one just recently came out a few days ago and uh, we're gonna check it out and go through it. I went through the tutorial so I have sort of an idea of what I'm doing hopefully. Uh, when you start out you can pick your location on the planet. I don't think it changes anything here though. Um, no I don't think it sh says anything on here to change your location so I have no clue. I, as far as I know it doesn't matter uh, if you change your location or not. So let's start the game. I'm really excited. Press any key. So here we go. Landing down. Excellent. And there we go. So let's get started. Um, so you start off with a workforce. You got uh, workers, which are in blue. You got biologists, which is in green. You have engineer, which is in uh, yellow orange. And then you have medic in the red color. Then you have a carrier bot and a construction bot. Very cool. So the first thing we're going to want is some sort of breathable oxygen. Um, of course, you want to be able to breathe on the planet, so we're going to build an oxygen place. Uh, while we're doing that, we're going to work on as well uh, some sort of power. So I guess the first thing that you can build is solar panels. And we're also going to want a power collector. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to say yes for the power collector. You're going to want that early in the game because then when night comes, you don't have to worry about it as much. Wonder if you can actually hook this up yet, or you have to wait till this is start. Guess you have to wait on that, maybe. Uh, we're gonna need some water extraction. Maybe we'll hook these up. Maybe that's why if things aren't paired up properly. Maybe it just doesn't let you place it. Uh, so yeah, you're gonna want some water extraction. Here you go. Doesn't really matter where you do it. There you go. And we'll link those guys up. And then uh, we're gonna get, uh, yes I said we're gonna want the power collector. Which I think is pretty uh, important at the beginning of the game. Mainly because there is day and night cycles and if you don't have something to store the power, nighttime is gonna be troublesome. Or it could be kind of the other way around as well. Actually, you know what? I've decided. I don't know how important this is. I'll show you this. You can actually take this and move your wheel around and build even a bigger one. So I guess that's like four times the storage maybe? I'm not sure. Whoa! That was a meteor crash down. One on the top of the hill. That's kind of cool. There we go. So we got the water extractor working. There's oxygen here. Now we need to uh, create some sort of airlock here, which I believe is this one. Because they can't get in and out, of course, without an airlock. So we'll put it, I guess, we're going in and out of this quite a bit. So we'll put it here and we'll link these guys together. Excellent. Ha! The solar panel keeps track of the sun, I guess. That's really cool. Is there a place where it shows you? Oh, here we go. So is this going down or up? Up, so, okay. So there you go. So there's our power storage and oh cool, it has got a built in like little power meter kind of idea. Very cool. So they're just getting this up and running. Perfect. So now we have an airlock. Oxygen starting to fill. You can see it slowly filling in. 
cool. Okay, so now that we have oxygen, we can start uh, building more essentials like uh, a canteen. I'm assuming a canteen is good for food. Place to eat. And then, uh, I almost want to, I guess you can't link these, but there you go. Let's see what else we can build here. Oh, look at that. A multi-dome. Multi-purpose leisure and fitness dome. Pretty cool. A biome dome. Um, yeah, so we're going to do that and then probably a dorm and then probably something with food related after. There you go. Now, I don't know how well I'll end up being in this game. I'll probably end up dying early in life or, you know, running out of resources or everyone will get sick or who knows. I'm always bad in these games, like with towns and whatnot, but I will try my best to do as well as I can. Um, and then maybe down the road, if I fail really bad, uh, we can definitely revisit and make another series uh, attempt 2.0 kind of idea. These guys need oxygen. I hope they're not going to be dumb and like die because they don't go back i'm sure that doesn't happen but i played some games where it's like you know like they got so bad where it's like they need a certain resource but they would rather work themselves to death that's not good why is the o2 running out i guess because the new building it's filling it up probably And there's our power. Oh yeah, it's it's keeping up, but m maybe not enough though. We might have to come with a, another solution later for that. Oh, so if you hit tab, you can hide some of this, so it doesn't hi hide this. But this is an airlock, and the downside with the airlock is it takes time for them to kind of go in and out of the airlock. Uh, so you might need a secondary airlock later on. Uh, I might even consider building that in the near future. Very cool. Okay, so now we're in here. We can actually modify this and add certain things to this. So you can have a table, a small table. So I mean, might as well go for the bigger table. I wonder if you can fit multiple small tables? No. So you might as well have a small table set up, and you want, might as well have something where you can drink. Drinking is important. Um, a decorative plant. I, you know what? A nice plant is always good. Uh, a widescreen. Something to watch movies and whatnot when they're working or eating. It's probably important to have something like that anyways in life. Probably good for that for now. There we go. And then the dorm here, uh, we can modify it too, of course. And let's get some bunk beds in here. So I guess we just put these right here. I assume you probably, ooh, power storage is critical. That's not good. I Oh, the sun's coming back up, so we're gonna be fine anyways, but. I guess you gotta keep an eye on that. Oh, actually, you know what? I think we're more than fine with the power. Hopefully they make those beds in the near future. I'm actually worried that, you know, they won't uh, sleep and... <laughs> the widescreen's been built. Priorities! No one built the food to the table, but they built the uh, widescreen. So there is a plus and negative uh, you can do. Zero to, uh, beside your nine and zero, the negative and the positive there, you can increase your speed, or I believe you can do it within the game somewhere here. I uh, adjust speed. And it goes up to four levels, and you can kind of rush it if you want, just to, you know, catch up. And we'll hit tab key to uh, fix this. Oh, now they're going to drink, and now they're eating. Oh, look at that. That's awesome. Uh-oh. We just lost some power. What happens? Can they drink without power? I guess not, because they can't get fresh water. 
So I was hoping we would make it, but we did not make it. So what we m can do is we should build a backup power source, I guess, which is wind. And we'll build the wind turbine. We could do it over here, I guess. And hopefully somebody will see that's a priority and get their butt over there sooner. By the time that happens anyways, the sun is out now, so... There we go. There you go. Survival reached. One day after landing. <laughs> Nice. Is there something I'm supposed to do, or do I just exit, or... Uh-oh. Spacebar? I'm not sure what I did to do that. There you go. Wind turbine has been built. Oh, yeah, we need to link that. And that'll help with that. Uh, of course, now we have a full day, too, running into the energy, so it's not like we'd have much of a problem, but at least that'll keep us back up for good. These poor people, they're thirsty. Hopefully they uh, start using the fountain a bit more here soon. Is there really no room for you? Oh no, there is no room at all for you. I feel like we need to make sure we get more beds in there then. Uh, that means six. Almost everyone would be sleeping. You probably don't want everyone sleeping at the same time, but... Uh... Oh look at there, there's a news thing on. Ah, look at that. Planet news, but it's a tiny planet. What kind of planet news are you gonna have? It'd be cool if you can get like a news reporter or something. <laughs> and then show like little gifts on here, or even if it's not gifts, just something that flashes up saying, you know, uh, recent power outage is just blah, 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 you know? Nice. Okay, so now that we have most things going okay-ish, I think, we need to probably build uh, something for food, I guess. Um, man, I get excited when I hear blowing up. Okay, dorm and cabin, sleeping facility where each bed is owned by the... Oh. That's cool. Uh, okay, so, uh, grow vegetables and plants. I guess that would be it. So, and we'll link that puppy up right here. <laughs> it's pretty cool to have the power. I like games with power grids. I just, I don't know. Power is fun in games to me. Poor guy needs some sleep. It's only halfway there anyways. This person really wants to drink. I hope they find a thing of water soon. Okay, so they're going to build the biodome here, which will be perfect. Um, well, their outside activity, a landing pad, a mine, a water tank. Oh, that's cool. Stores water for later use. That's a good point, you know. How much uh, water would we have or need? I feel like a water tank would be sort of a waste, but I really wouldn't know how much water, you know, a base would need or take. So maybe a water tank would be good because then we can at least monitor the situation and know when we need to um, increase our supply and demand for the water. <laughs> These guys are taking their time. I guess the further they have to walk, the more, you know, the longer it takes as well, so. I like the solar panel, how it moves once in a while. It doesn't, it doesn't always track the sun, but rather just moves every few, you know, minutes to realign with the sun. 
Oh, here you go. Is this built? No, it's still building. Oh, there's the progression. What is this? Oh, that's cool. Like a little... Oh, I didn't know you. So you can... Can I do that everywhere, too? Oh, yeah. So you can watch them inside do their things. <laughs> that's kind of cool. Oops. Okay, so that's going to get oxygen here soon. Perfect. And we got the guy carrying the resources there. What do we have here? Um, some pull piling we use for expanding the base cheaply. Oh, I guess it's just so. Oh, it's like a, like a fork, so you could put it here, and then you can connect other things to that. I guess. A bar. No, the biodome was the most important thing to begin with. So, we need to make sure we get some food. So, uh, you know what? That's not bad. It probably doesn't provide as much food, but. Wheat. High maintenance. Oh, that's cool. Requires GM tomato DNA. I feel like more wheat, the better. Because I remember you can use wheat, the starch or something from it. So we'll try it with two right now. Oh, here's the water tower. Starting to fill up. Really cool. It's nighttime, so our power is... Oh, wow. It's actually going down a bit right now. Very slowly, though, because this is helping it keep up, but... Uh, we're consuming more than it can produce. Interesting. There's our wind right now. Our wind is like a, a really low amount. So if this goes up higher, our power uh, usage will start going the opposite. Wow, it's really going down right now. Let's let's speed up the time and see how fast we can get it to go. Oh, it's dropping again. Oh, all time low. No wind at all. Are you kidding me? <laughs> wow. You can see how important it is now. It's not going up. Oh, here it goes. I guess you can see how important it is to have battery power. Wow. That's insane. It's dropping again. Wow. Talk about bad luck. Okay, so the next thing you probably want to build is some sort of medical center uh, or processing plant. Let's do a sick bay first. Um, actually, you know what? You can demolish this and get there. You go and get an idea of all your resources. You can click one of these and get an idea of all your resources as well. So you got meal, metal. Oh, you know what we need? We need a way to process this food. Did you do it in here, or is it somewhere else that you process it? Creates meals from vegetables, or okay. That'll be important to have then. <laughs> That's the biologist, so his job is just to look around at that, I guess. Well, it was good we made the power collector for sure. This thing was not so supportive. I think it might be uh, time for a secondary solar panel, but I think I'll leave that to the next episode. I think we did pretty good on this episode, and that'll be the, the big upgrade for the next episode is getting a bit more uh, power into the base. But uh, thank you guys and girls so much for watching. I hope you actually enjoyed this because I really am having a blast playing this. 
this is the kind of games I love. I love space games, and I love games like this. It's just like the tinkering and whatnot is really fun. So uh, we will see you wonderful people next time. Please subscribe, comment, like, and see you next time.